right, so today we are going to be working on the bike a little bit. We got all this fucking construction. Nah, we good. If you see something bobbing up and down in front of the um, camera, it is the microphone. Right there. It just doesn't fit right, I guess. But today we are going to be working on this guy because these are really loud. They are a Vance and Hines twin slash. They have the stock baffles in them. Uh, and I am going to attempt to do a cheaper fix on it because I am too cheap right now to purchase the quiet baffles that go in them because they're about $160 for both of them. And at the end of the day, I want to get rid of all of this because I'm not a big fan of chrome. Um, <clears throat> the plan is to go to a two-in-one uh, combat freedom performance exhaust uh, that will dump out right here. I have heard that is also quite loud, um, but we're just gonna see. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the chrome, and I also really like the two into one. Plus, it's a performance exhaust, which is pretty cool. But why don't I get it unhooked, and we will get a sound check so you guys can kind of hear it and see what it sounds like on this mic and how fucking loud it is. Uh, and yeah, we'll go with that. So uh, let me get her unhooked here, and we'll do it. Let's see, I got a little tripod so I can set it down. Like I said, this is the tender I keep it on. Keep it nice and charged. We're not really going anywhere. We'll just let that sit. Sky on. Make sure we are one meter here. That guy up. We'll just kind of give you a cold start sound check. Here, let me just set this back here. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we got. Ready, steady, go. see what we can um, get off of it and uh, that's my dog who's barking um, and we'll see what we can do. Alright so our first order of business is we got to get these guys off. They're just little black covers. Uh, it looks like we just got some like band, some bands down here, some metal straps. Looks like we can do that with a ratchet so let me go get that and we'll start it the process. Let's see, I'm going to guess it's a 10, am I right? I'm always wrong, man. I'm never 10, it's probably an 8. Watch, it's probably not fucking metric. I really don't give a shit what system we use, just as long as we use the system. Hey, when it comes to measuring stuff, I should like the metric system. Oh my lord, those have... Wow, those were like the loosest things I think I've ever seen. I didn't even need to like do anything. Wow. Uh, <laughs> those, those had absolutely nothing to them. I want to be careful because I don't want to scratch these things. Let's, let's. For the record, they were at an eight. Okay. So now. No way. 
That would make any sense. Why would I have to take all of them, though? There's no way it doesn't. It's just they're not loose enough. That's why. Okay. Do that. There we go. I see how this goes. And then it's gonna... Ah, I was wrong again. Huh. Well, the nice thing... Man, I don't understand how that works. But the nice part is, what I'm looking for is right here. So, I don't think we have a whole lot to worry about. There's the other one I'm looking for, so we don't even need to take them all off. That's, that's good. Uh, let's see. Oh, what do we got? I don't know. Let's just see. I'm guessing it's probably this guy. Always in too big. Never have that problem in other places in life, you know? Never have that problem. Right. Let's see. I do have Strap. Whoever like did this last didn't put the straps on very high, but they sure wrenched the living crap out of that. And see, then I can just move it down, and then I've got all the access in the world to get that out. This one, on the other hand, tighten, loosen. Let's go. Part of me wants to see like what this sounds like without the baffles in, but part of me is a little bit terrified of it because this damn thing is so fucking wrong. Oh, that was nice. Now, I don't even know. Hey, all right, Vance and Hines, good job. You made it so I can actually spin this thing. Okay, let's get those out. All right, so this is. So now all we have to do is figure out how to get those out. So let me go find a flashlight and uh, we'll figure it out. We'll be right back. All right, well, found a flashlight and uh, I thought this was going to be like way harder to get out uh, than this and uh, it was not. I literally just took a pair of needle nose, so I have to get these on, and grabbed it and it came out. So bonus for that. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Okay, do we dare see what a straight piped one of these sounds like? Let's let me let me get some ear protection and then uh, let's let's see. See what it sounds like, huh? Oh, this is gonna be loud. Holy moly! Okay, well, now we know. No, it's just power. Uh, let's take you over here. Oh, that's good. So this, these are the baffles that it comes with. And like the quiet ones are wrapped. But obviously, like I should be able to on these, right? I'll make sure they're, they're not bad. But like, see, I can wrap it. I've got this with, with like the batting that comes for motorcycle, uh, not motorcycles, motocross. I think I can wrap them. And stuff them back in there and just see what happens you know 
because the, the sound will come in through these guys and then it'll have all the deadening material and so it should like stop some of it theoretically uh, and just see we'll, we'll find out because if not it is what it is I can just put it back in they weren't that bad but that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be I thought this was going to be a real long video so we'll wait until we get our next ones and uh, should be here in probably another hour or two I can, I can turn this off about another hour or two we'll get it delivered and then um this afternoon we'll wrap it up and we'll see what happens stay tuned okay so we got one of them in i also fixed the microphone uh a little update it is uh two days later because uh it's been a huge pain in the ass so let me kind of show you what well let me get this other one out and then i will show you what i'm talking about all right ignore the uh OSHA approved sandals. So what I've learned is, oh, that's fun. <clears throat> this is the batting material that you get. When I got it, I just bought it off Amazon. Uh, it comes double this thickness. So two of these together. And I was racking my brain, trying to get it to fit. And I tried probably four or five times just trying to get it to fit, wrapping it with different things, um, wire, stainless steel wire, um, masking tape, plastic wrap, string, anything I could do to get in there. I mean, I ran over it with uh, my car, like trying to flatten it because you could flatten it down. And I know that like flattening the baffling material is going to make it less sound deadening. Uh, but the idea was that hopefully the pressure from the exhaust gas coming out would fluff it back up a little bit or maybe the tape would burn off or something I was just trying because I don't think you're technically able to do it with these because I don't know if you can see it but there is not much of a gap here and just every time I get about halfway in and it would just start bunching up but what I learned is that you can take these guys and you can tear them in half down the middle and it comes apart really easily so I kind of had that stroke of genius the other night and we have one in already. So I figured since I have proven you can actually get that one in, we will test this guy out and I will show you and on test, we will do it together and I will show you how that goes. Um, so let me get the string on here. I'll show you how I did that and then we will uh, get it put in. Okay, so this is what I did. I just took some just string, uh, fiber, it's not like metal or anything, um, and wrapped it around it a few times, kind of like, uh, like a pork loin, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, just kind of knocking down the high spots, so like being sure that this is the way it's going to go in, so I made sure the front of this here is nice and squished down so that it kind of fits that lip. Um, I'm less worried about these going in because it should hold. The other one did fine. Um, so, I have not fitted this one. Uh, let's go see if it goes in. And I'll try and keep the mic near me. Okay. Alrighty. So, one thing I learned was you need to keep this hole aligned very closely. I saw like somebody in the comments, whoever watches is probably going to be like, hey, 
You shouldn't touch your face when you have fiberglass, and that's really true. You probably should be wearing a mask too. This fiberglass insulation goes everywhere, and it will make you itch. I saw some madman though, here on YouTube, doing it without gloves, in shorts, just like no long sleeves, nothing. Some like British dude. When he was packing his, and I was just like, that is insane to me. I don't know how you do that. So, uh, let's get everything back together here, and we will get a sound check and see what it sounds like. Let's get it. Yeah. It's funny, there's little wear lines on the uh, chrome. You can see where it was. I'll have to clean up the exhaust a little bit, just because it's kind of... Ooh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Holy shit. Ugh. These were, I'm not trying to torque these down too much, but it's a little off, actually. Fix it. Make sure we're doing it right. There we go. surprised at how like loosely these were on here. Uh, I don't know, look at my glove. Rip it open. Come on. I don't really don't want to round you off, big dog. Yeah, I'm not going to, but oh gosh. Come on. There it goes. Let me just kind of loosen it slightly. Gotta rotate it. There it goes. Got a little too close to the. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's get a uh, sound check and see what it sounds like here. Clean some of the tools up. A little here. All right. Let's see if it's any different. I don't know if it will be, but we're gonna find out. That's way better. It's not like it takes the edge off of it. That's the nice part about it is the really, really loud edge on it that really hurts your ears is gone. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that worked, to be honest with you. I didn't know you could do that. I mean, for as little bit of baffling that's in there, but it still sounds really good. And it's definitely when you give it gas, it, man, you hit the throttle, it's got some, it's got some snap to it, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's a success. It is, the edge has been taken off of it for sure, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. So, I mean, yeah, I will try and remember, oh, there's, hang on, what is this? There's something hanging down from the bottom here. What is that? I don't know. <sighs> but I will try and link all of the, well, the stuff I bought from Amazon and put in there. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that was a success. Um, we'll see how it goes over time. I've heard some people say that the batting like comes out and it looks like chicken feathers coming out the back of it. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But for now, that's it, guys. That was pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, got any questions, let me know. Take it easy.